So, um, thought I'd come out now that I got the um, 8 inch monocoil for the uh, GPX uh, and compare it to the uh, 6 inch on the uh, Equinox. So, uh, here's the 6 inch on the Equinox and the uh, 8 inch on the uh, 8 inch mono, the uh, GPX. And try to see if uh, I could get any better sensitivity with that one and kind of compare it to how it does with the uh, Equinox. So again, I got the same targets as before. I got a sub 0.1 uh, gram uh, nugget. It's fairly porous, so it's a pretty poor target. And then I have my 0.1 gram nugget, which usually rings up pretty good. And again, I got my, uh, my hot rock, my uh, piece of uh, iron nickel meteorite, piece of magnetite, and then one other hot rock that usually rings up pretty good. So again, so let's try it out with the uh, the smallest of the uh, gold nuggets. And you see I can ring it pretty good with a deep knox up to about two or three inches away. But it's it's ringing in the negative. So that's that might be a tough call to dig on. But it, it rings it real well. And of course, just about everything else. There's the 0.1 gram. Here's my hot rock. Nickel iron meteorite. That goes crazy. And the hot rock also pretty consistently negative though. Let's try the uh, hematite. Not so much with the hematite this time. Real subtle, but no number. It's interesting. And my other hot rock, which is pretty consistent. One. Not, not entirely sure what that one is. Uh, it's definitely not gold, so. But again, it's pretty impressive. I can hit the sub, sub 0.1 gram. I don't know how many grains that is. With that six inch coil. Again, I'm in a gold mode. I'm actually only on gain of 20. I could go up to 25. But it gets a little unstable then. But it's quite loud. I can't crank the gain up all the way. Although I can probably get it to about 4 inches now. And let's try the hematite again. Now I'm hitting the hematite. Pretty much all my targets I'll, I'll hit with the uh, six inch on the uh, Equinox. So again, it's pretty tough to beat this for the price that it's at, especially if you compare it to the GPX. You we'll kind of see see again what the differences are. But let me go turn that one on. So now I got the uh, GPX F5000 going. Um, I got it in. Uh, Fine gold timing, although it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Um, and I uh, already did the tuning. Uh, I set the gain all the way up to 20. And uh, set the other settings about as sensitive as I could get. Uh, and again, this isn't a really high noise area, so. Uh, and uh, the iron rejects off and the tracking is off. I'm going to start out with the uh, 0.1 gram nugget here. It's pretty uh, nice and loud. Read that a few inches away. But the sub 0.1, it's uh, pretty much non existent. So that's. Uh, Again, a little disappointing, this is the 8 inch mono. Maybe a, a little bit of a dip there, but it's nothing you'd ever notice really. However, you can see that hot rock. A little lower tone. And the gold, but and the uh, iron meteorite. Not, not picking up 
hooking that up and my other hot rock that was made the equinox go crazy hear it a little bit if I uh, get real close for the most part that's kind of rejected so I think in general that's kind of the compromise we're going to get between the, the PIs and the uh, the LFs is uh, you're either going to hear the hot rocks or you're going to hear the fine gold so it's kind of your choice but at uh, you know, almost three times the, the price point it's kind of a tough tough decision here so unless you really have a lot of hot rocks that equinox is really tough to beat I give them that and it's way lighter so but I won't be digging these up.